Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back. It's July, even though it doesn't really look like it. And although it's still kind of gray and wet and cold here in Ireland, there's still plenty to be doing in the garden. So if you're wondering what you should be doing in the garden at the moment, here's what I'm doing in the garden right now. And it might give you some ideas and some inspiration. Three tasks, three minutes. Well, maybe a little bit more. Let's get started. It's around this time of year that strawberry plants will start to produce runners, which are these little baby plants that are still connected to the parent plant. And they are the easiest and probably the cheapest way to propagate more strawberry plants so that you can increase your numbers. In fact, if you already don't own some strawberries and you go and have a look at the garden center and you look at the strawberry plants you can buy, you might even see that they've got the start of runners. So then you can buy it, bring it home and propagate even more than just the single one that you've bought. So to grow these on, very, very simple. All you need is some compost, some small pots, and some little metal pins. Now these little metal pins can be made really easily with a pair of pliers and some stiff wire. All you need to do is cut off a section with the pliers and then using the pliers, bend them in half so that you get one of these, a little metal pin. So all you need to do is fill your pot with a little bit of compost Take one of your strawberry runner plants, set it down onto the compost, and then using the pin, just push it down and pin it into place. That'll help keep the plant secure against the compost until it starts to form a decent root ball. Give it some water, give it some TLC, and before long, it'll have its own root system. You'll be able to see it by having a little look underneath the pot to see how it gets on. And once it does have that root system, you can simply cut the connection between the plant and the main plant and there you go you've got another plant that you can use to bulk up your strawberries there's still time to sow seeds that will give you something lovely to eat this year and set you up with some nice plants ready for next year to give you some flowers in the garden we grow cut and come again salad leaves a bit like this except as you can see these ones have just got away from us a bit they're too big they're too tough and you wouldn't want them in a salad so the way you get around that is by successional sowing that's where you just keep sowing the same seeds every couple of weeks maybe every three weeks and that gives you a constant supply of fresh baby leaves we grow them in these rubber tubs because at the moment we don't have vegetable beds to grow the salad leaves in all you need to do is take your packet of seeds sprinkle them lightly onto the surface of the compost, give them a water and a little bit of TLC and within a couple of weeks you'll have nice baby salad leaves ready to eat. It's also not too late to start sowing seeds of biennial plants that will give you great flowers next year such as wallflowers and foxgloves. Foxgloves look brilliant but if you buy them in the garden centre when they're ready to flower they're going to cost you a packet unlike a packet of seed, which is really cheap, a couple of euro, and you'll have more plants than you could ever use. Saying that though, once you start growing them, you'll be happy to fill the garden full of foxgloves. Similarly with wallflowers, if you buy them as plants when you're ready to plant them out in early spring, they're gonna cost you a lot of money compared to a packet of seed, and you'll have loads of them. They give you lovely spring color just around that time when the rest of the garden is looking very bare, and the only other thing that you have are bulbs. So what I do is rather than planting them direct into the garden, I sow them into seed trays like this, and then when they get pricked out, you can pot them on, overwinter them, and then plant them into their final planting spaces. And I guarantee you, they're gonna look ace. super easy last job and that's skimming the tops of your ponds if you don't have a net over the top of your pond to cover it from stuff falling down the wind will mean that you're almost inevitably going to get little bits of leaf and little bits of twig landing on your pond what happens then is as those break down into the water it increases the nutrient levels it increases the nitrogen in the water which fosters algae and green water which isn't very nice so all you have to do is now and then take a couple of minutes with a net you don't need any special equipment this is a kid net for use at the seaside and just lift off that extra stuff off the surface of the water. The other good thing is it catches this stuff before it has a chance to break down and fall to the bottom of the pond making horrible pond sludge and trust me when it comes to clearing out that sludge it is a disgusting stinky job. 
Skimming your ponds also helps you keep on top of things like duckweed and algae that can grow really out of control if you don't keep on top of them. We've got loads of tadpoles in this pond and although they nibble away at it and kill and eat some of it, if we don't keep on top of it ourselves, it just accelerates, grows out of control and covers huge swathes of this pond. So again, just lifting it out makes all the difference. What you do need to make sure to do though, is once you've lifted it out, tip it out and leave the stuff on the side of the pond for a day or two. That just lets all the insects and little aquatic creatures hop out and get back into the water. And most of all, don't forget that once this is done, you can use it in your composter. So, tidy pond, free compost material, result. So that's three things that I'm doing in the garden at the moment that you can do too. I love hearing from you, so leave me a comment down below to let me know what you're doing in your own garden. And also, if you haven't seen them already, check out these videos because I think you might like them. And until next time, see you later.